The Legend of Rice Plant, Alamat ng Palay. Long time ago, there was a barrio in central Luzon where the people were so hardworking in tilling their lands. They worked very early in the morning until late in the afternoon. And so, Pale, the god of the land and plants, was so pleased with them that he gave them bountiful harvest. One day, one of the farmers found a box of gold in his field while tilling his land, and the news reached everyone in the barrio like a wildfire. Many envied his fortune, and so they also started tilling their lands, but not to farm as what they used to do, but to search for gold. Everybody was so busy hunting for gold that they forgot about farming. We don't need to plant again if we have gold, said one. Yes, we can buy whatever we want, agreed another. And true enough, everyone got his gold in his own land, but they were not contented. They craved for more. They even fought each other for those golds. This didn't escape from Pale's eyes, and he was so deeply saddened. He prepared punishment for the people to teach them a lesson. He ordered the soil not to bear any crop, and it was so. The whole barrio was then under famine. It was too late when the people realized that there were no more foods for them to eat. They have lots of gold, but the soil wouldn't bear crops, and they were all hungry. What's the use of our golds now, when we couldn't buy anything? cried one. What should we do now? We will die if we couldn't find food, said another. We must call Pale, he can help us, suggested by one of the elders. Yes, Pale can help us. Let's call him now, everybody shouted. At once, they prepared an offering to Pale at the center of the field. When Pale heard them call, he appeared before them, saying, Your calls have reached me, and so I am here. What do you want from me? Pale, you're the god of plants, of vegetables, and of crops. Please give us food, said the leader of the group. That was your punishment for turning your box to farming. You exchanged your crop for golds. That's why you're suffering from famine, he informed them. We were wrong, Pale. Please forgive us, pleaded their leader. Now you have learned your lessons. You should be contented on the life given to you and do not desire things which are not meant for you, he told them. What should we do now? Help us, Pale, an elder pleased. If you are really sorry and you want the land to bear food, you must give back to the soil what you have taken from it. Return the golds in the land and it will give you food again, said Pale. Yes, Pale, 
We will do as what you said. All said in chorus. I tell you, the soil will give you golds that you can eat, he said, and then he was gone. The people did just what Pali told them to do. They dug a hole in their fields and buried the golds there. Pale, upon seeing that the people did what he told them, he blessed them with good sunshine and fine rains. Just as Pali said, the soil bore crops after several days. One morning, the people were surprised for the plains are like covered with gold. Look at our fields, said a man. Our crops are turning golden yellow. I think it's about time for us to harvest, said the leader. At last, we will not starve again. Famine is over, they shouted for joy. What will we call these plants then? asked a woman. We shall call it Palai in honor of Pale, said one of the elders. Yes, we shall call it Palai since Pale gave it to us, the leader of the group confirmed. After the harvest, they offered a festival for Pale for giving them Palai that saved them from famine. Once again, the people were back to farming busy tilling their lands, starting very early in the morning until late in the afternoon. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel for you to get notified for my next stories.